Hello drone community, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School and welcome to this week's edition of our Drone News Roundup. We're going to kick this week off with a small dose of adrenaline by sharing our favorite FPV videos of extreme sports. Then I'll talk about autonomous drones that are being used in warehouses. Finally, we get questions from time to time about reporting bad or unsafe, uh, is the better word, drone behavior. And I wanted to talk about a new option from the FAA for drone pilots. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm a bit of an armchair adrenaline junkie and can get just absolutely lost watching extreme sports, particularly when drone footage is involved. This week we published some of our favorite extreme sports videos shot by FPV Drone. For those of you who are unfamiliar with FPV, it stands for First Person View. It's a type of racing drone that can fly up to 120 miles per hour. And many have turned to these drones not for racing, uh, although there are many racers out there, but to capture mind-blowing footage like this mountain biking video from Scotland. In our collection this week, you're gonna see people base jumping from moving cars, single shot motocross runs, and a tightrope walker crossing a massive canyon in Colorado. We're gonna to link to the full list of videos below, so strap in and prepare yourself because these videos are pretty intense. Next up, automated drones are quietly revolutionizing the way goods are inventoried and tracked within warehouses. Companies like Ware, Flyte Base, and Verity are creating solutions to help improve efficiency in warehouse logistics. So flying autonomously to track inventory, drones can keep real-time data on what is stored where. Drones can help improve safety by removing the need for people to climb tall ladders as an example. This may not be the most glamorous of stories, but think about all of the online ordering that's increased over the past few years. Creating efficient warehouse operations is really important. It helps to support this increase in shopping behavior, making sure all the work's done quickly and also safely. Okay, lastly, the FAA has opened the Aviation Safety Reporting System, or ASRS, up to reports on drones. The ASRS has been around for years. It's a place where pilots can report on safety concerns they have. It's described by the FAA as a voluntary, confidential, non-punitive safety reporting system that receives safety reports from pilots, air traffic controllers, dispatchers, cabin crew, maintenance technicians, and now UAS operators. Now I know all of you out there are staying safe, but if you do have safety concerns related to another drone pilot's operations, you can now report them using this ASRS system. Link below. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out all the links below. Thank you for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.